Hey, what's happening, gang? Welcome back to Monster Hunter World here on the K-Wings Let's Plays channel. And today we are doing two for the price of one. So we're going to be fighting that weird tizzy monster. Whoa. But first, we're going to have some food because Whoa. food's kind of important. Uh, yeah, your mustache is very well groomed, K-Wing. It is, isn't it? I, I've I had mean, a lot of fun with it. What kind of mustache wax do you use on that? I mean, like, to get it to look like it's just... <laughs> It's a work of art. What, what can I say? Did you buy that online special? <laughs> and we also usually skip the cat stuff, but the cat movies are hilarious because yeah. the cats are great chefs. And then yeah. you have, like, the main chef in the background. He's like, that's all he did. <laughs> he just puts the little things on the end. Yeah. I like the one where he sprinkles parsley on it, though. Like, you, or yeah. just puts, like, a little leaf. Can you imagine eating all that in one sitting? No, it makes me sick just a thinking of it. A whole turkey plus, like, several kebabs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. So, uh, thank you guys for letting us know that you wanted to see uh, some of the monsters that we skipped. So, we're going to do our best to hunt some of the ones that uh, got missed. Mmm, grape soda. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> That's what your fuel is. Your monster hunter guy, like, ate an entire turkey, but all we need is grape soda. I don't really drink. You've actually broken my soda ban. <laughs> I, I, got, I had not I, drank soda since our wedding. Uh, that's was, because I got the grape soda. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't want the soda with caffeine in it. It's bad for me. Of course, this soda is bad for me too. No, actually, that's not true. Because um, when we lived in Avalon near Boston, you used to get me the cream soda. Yeah, cream so soda. I, I would have, you but would I don't. Have... I'm not a soda junkie. I don't have soda all the time. Um, I, I mean, I have ginger ale for stomach issues, and I drink a lot of vegetable and I, juice juice. Ginger ale doesn't feel as soda-y to me. I think it is soda. I don't know if it counts. I don't know it's if it counts. It's bubbly, but it doesn't feel as sugary. Like, when no. I drink sugar, ah, ginger ale, it doesn't feel the same rush that I get from Coca-Cola or something. It's like... Yeah. No, oh, so. we also uh, posted an episode of Amber's uh, co-op Monster Hunter dating series. If you guys want to check that out, just click the link at the bottom of this video, and you can go watch us just kind of run around. And uh, I'm happy to say that Amber is a HR2 now, wow. so we can hunt uh, some other monsters. And uh, Oh, this is the guy you got your mustache yeah, from. that's the tizzy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is whatever his name is, purple well, monster. I have not had Coca-Cola since the new year started mm. and i was craving soda so much that i was like you know what anything is better than nothing so i got the grape stuff so basically what we're doing with this quest and uh if you guys could let me know i'm actually working on this armor um i'm looking for something that's called core crystal or something and i really can't find any mining spots here in the coral reef area I just find kind of like mm, pearls and all this other stuff so i need those in order to finish the armor uh like the the sash and his um what do they call it his 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 uh braces on his arms yeah. you need that item so if you could let me know where that is or if it's just from hunting this monster um that would be awesome today we are going to be fighting both of these monsters to fulfill a quest that I kind of um, ran into when I was doing an expedition. It really has no relevance to the story. This game has like hundreds of quests that pop up oh, all the time. Yeah. And you can actually have up to 280 quests going on at one time. Whoa. It's, it's a great way to earn um, money, to earn points, and also to earn. Uh, research materials from the research people so just go and talk to uh the people down on the first floor um the lady and the dude who's always got his head in the book and they will give you a whole list of missions as well as missions that are only available for the weekend to help like increase not your hunter rank but just your materials and things like that oh okay cool so that's what one of these quests is it's from a cat that talked to the research society and we have to take down two of those purple things in 50 minutes. Oh, okay. But wow, since I've okay. beaten one of these monsters in about 8 minutes before, I think we can take down both in about 20 minutes. Cool. It that, should be that's no sweat. Ow. Because K-Wing is K-Wing the Mighty. Yes, Whiplash. Yeah, so if you guys want to see uh, me date do night. stuff, it's, it's my character goes on a date with K-Wing's character. 
and the way we go on a date is we hunt monsters. Except the first episode, we thought we were gonna hunt a monster and we didn't get to. Yeah, it didn't really happen. I think it's because I kind of was not, I don't know. Well, you're a hunter rank two now, so you should be able to do all the hunter rank two quests. Although, oh, okay. I will probably end up or suggest like uh, progressing the story like in another 40 minutes because then you'll be HR three or four, and then there's yeah. a huge variety of stuff you can do when you're three and four. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. But also doing online quests with people is a way to increase your hunter rank. If you do assign stuff. At, at least, I think that's how it works. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Because I didn't really progress the story a lot. I'm progressing it... Well, not... This is a bonus episode. This isn't really technically yeah. episode... But you you increased whatever. your hunter rank online, and then, yeah. you, then you went and progressed the story. Mm hmm Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah, that's what I've heard, is that you know, playing online helps and stuff. Yeah. Whee! Helicopter. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're having fun. I am having fun. I really enjoy Monster Hunter. I mean, a lot of people are even... I've gotten some DMs uh, on Twitter and uh, Google+, Plus, which is weird. They're like, are you yeah. actually going to finish this Monster Hunter series? Because oh. you came close with either Generations or the other one, and then oh, some wow. problems arose. It's like, well, I'm happy to report that most of the quests in this game, um, like the capture quests, are all optional. So, I'm really bad at capture quests. I can't do them to save my life. I hate them. Yeah. Um, the capture quests are all research related that have nothing to do with the main story. Oh, In terms of the good. main story, we will be able to finish the game. The things that bothered me about the old Monster Hunter games were I couldn't... Well, you could. You got the paintballs, but I couldn't figure out how to how to hit people with the paintballs, and then secondly, the capture things. That was so frustrating. I could never guess when the monster was going to die. Like, it would be limping, and I'd be hitting him, trying to make him tired enough to throw the trank darts and then put them in the trap, and it would end. But either my cat or myself would accidentally kill the monster, and about trying it eight or nine times, I gave up because it was a waste of time. It was like... I remember I thinking, the frustration. Oh, yeah. I can remember it. It's all coming back to me. Mm -hmm. and I don't know. With this new game, it's like... I don't know why, but I'm slowly starting to get used to the idea that you can talk to cats and they help you in your journey, but when you first started playing Monster Hunter games, it was like... The you know, cats don't talk. This is weird. The cats have a bigger role in this. They're actually cat tribes you can meet, like, on the grounds and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, because I thought in the old Monster Hunter games, the cats would attack you when you were hunting. Or if there were cats out in the wild, they would just start hitting you and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, if you messed with them, maybe. Or if you, <laughs> you messed got, with them, yeah. If you got too close to them. <laughs> Uh -oh. Well, I'm used to the cats being really nice in Monster Ooh. Hunter stories, but yeah, they were a little bit meaner in the other games. They're kind of mean. Yeah. But now in this one, it's cool that there are cat tribes and stuff. They're becoming more... The cat tribes are becoming more fleshed out. We're learning more about the tribes of cats. Yep, and uh, your cat can also, depending on the area, like our cat here, Shadow, she can learn to ride dinosaurs. Whoa. And, like, kind of be like a little cavalry unit for you, or at least keep up with you better um, by riding... Remember those, like, little pink dinosaurs that we were beating up? The ones that this guy was hanging out with? Yeah. yeah. Wow, so your cat can ride those? Oh, my God. Yeah, it gains skills from talking to other cats it meets in the game, which is... Oh, my I don't gosh. It communicates with yeah. other cats. That's hilarious. Come on already, just... Die. I wish you could make this one a pet because it's about the right size to ride like a... No, I, I'm good. <laughs> there we go. That's the first one. That took about... I will say about seven minutes, something like that, because we did some tutorial, like showing people some food and just yeah. talking about fun stuff like grape soda and whatever. Well, I think it's appropriate to drink grape soda with this monster because this monster is purple. I still like cream soda the best. That's that's one of my favorites. It is good. But, yep. So, uh, unfortunately, while Monster Hunter is our main priority, Dragon Ball is almost over, and then we're getting ready to actually do our Versus series. But we're trying to figure out what to do with the Turtles now, because the Turtles are coming out on the 13th, and we yeah. said we're moving the Injustice series over to uh, the O1 channel, because they're starved for content. 
And uh, yeah, or maybe we could do one episode on this channel. I think we'll do then, one episode and then and move have, like, it over, and then do episodes a, over on the other. And then one. do a second episode yeah. there, like an intro, and then say, "Hey, we're moving." Well, that that series moving. So <laughs> go, go watch it over there. We're moving because I think we're gonna have Monster Hunter content going like alongside because Dragon Ball the story is gonna be over next week. You can make a clickbait thumbnail and say, "We're moving" with a picture of your house. No, that, no. that didn't work. <laughs> no. Clickbait doesn't really help. No. No, I'm just so happy that the uh, capture card is working for the 3DS because we had a big scare. Um, yeah, we did actually. Number thirteen of Monster Hunter stories. As soon as we finished it, we were getting ready to wrap up. Like the capture program said, we needed a product key, and we we're like, "What?" So then I spent Amber said about five hours in the upstairs closet, which is packed with stuff. Well, from, uh, it was eight o'clock yeah. when this. You know, you realized it was gone, and then you tried to. You know, I don't know if it was eight hours you looking in the. I'm sorry, I totally interrupted you. No, it's fine. But yeah, like from the minute that, you know, you realized it was gone and he was like trying to get the capture key back and call people and everything. And then to like, it took him to 1 a.m. And but you were in there for at least three hours, I would say. Okay. Maybe, maybe five hours though. Maybe it was because. I actually I, hurt my back a little bit because some of those bins are really heavy. I think it was five because it was eight o'clock mm -hmm. and then we were done recording the stream at like six. And then from like eight till like one in the morning, you were looking for it. Yeah. Yep. It was it was a lengthy time, but <laughs> yeah. um, this is actually a really good optional quest. There are a lot of um that I've seen quests where you can actually fight two monsters at once or uh, three monsters. You know, depending on how strong you are, I would probably go against fighting two different monsters <gasps> like. Uh, a Pookie Pookie and like an Anjanoth, I would probably not recommend that quest because it even takes me now um, with the weapons that I have probably about 35 minutes to defeat one Anjanoth. Then oh, you add okay. a Pookie to that, which takes about 20 minutes. That's really close to the 50 minute mark. And if you add another monster on top of that, yee, that's not that's not right. You know? But yeah, I'm sorry, I interrupted Kaywing. He was saying oh. that he forgot the. We lost the or we lost a certain thing that made the capture card working, or we had to find like a key or something. Oh yeah, a product key. Well, I mean, I don't think they ever sent us a product key to begin with because when I first used the uh, thing in Massachusetts, it worked fine. There was no. You, know, you didn't have to nope. type anything in, yeah. But thankfully, the company was really nice, which, you know, I didn't know if they were going to be able to answer back because they're in another country, so... Wait a second, is that the corpse? Didn't we just kill that thing? Yeah. Oh, nope, that's the other one. See, it's got <gasps> bubbles. Oh my gosh! There it's... we go. Oh, I thought that was the... the not alive one. Yeah, I thought the not alive one was in this area, but... I don't know. Well, I've been having a lot of fun playing Monster Hunter. I can't believe... So people really asked to see the other monsters that we didn't do? Or yeah. the other quests that we like. Kind yeah, of because over. this this monster he first appeared in an ex uh, expedition, and expedition quests you can play at your leisure. And usually, if it tells you, oh, you know, um, take this monster down or whatever, you know. Yeah. It's like uh, with an expedition, there's no time limit, so you get to do whatever you uh, want to. And if you guys are wondering, how did I get better at the? Um, riding the monster thing and doing the different attack combos. The attack combos for the insect glaive is actually really easy. All you have to do is literally move the joystick uh, with your character and you'll deliver like all these additional damage combos, which takes monsters down a lot quicker. Um, it's a specialty of the insect glaive and it's really cool. Especially when you have the buff abilities, then you're doing significant amount of damage other than just mounting it. So, I mean, it's kind of a secret uh, that a lot of veterans know, but uh, now you know. So, if you are online and you manage to mount a monster using this weapon, make sure you move up and down its body uh, by just moving your joystick. And, you know, also hold on with the R button because you don't want them to... Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I want to learn. It feels like I wish I could learn the insect glaive, but I think I... Better... I bought you a spear. Oh, wow. You have your own... You have a, um, a poison spear currently. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks. That's such a nice gift. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but... A poison? Uh, 
You finally got me a spear after all these years. That doesn't, uh, no, that, 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 no, that doesn't work. Well, I mean, I like the bow and arrow, but yeah. Bow and arrow was... is how a lot of YouTubers beat their series, like, in a day. But wow. also their episodes are about two hours each because, yeah, I... you know, it takes a long time to kill monsters with a bow and arrow. I feel like my bow and arrow is the coward's way of beating the monster, though. I think they really included um, some of that stuff for people that were going to be new to Monster Hunter that have played a lot of third-person shooters. I think that's uh, why they did that. I do yeah. remember the bow and arrow being in one of the previous Monster Hunter games, and it was utilized a lot. Um, whereas the spear was kind of brought into Monster Hunter 4. You like the spear I do. so much. I, I like it a lot. And already, I can tell you guys and gals this. This weapon is a lot stronger than the ones that I used to use. So, I mean, I'm at the point now where I run into monsters and I do a lot better. So, I, I'm playing this a lot yeah. smarter, but, you know, this game, the difficulty has been lowered. But, I mean, there's more people than ever before who are playing now. Because it was a Nintendo exclusive, it kind of limited itself. Yeah. And Capcom, I believe they got Game of the Month. Like, January's uh, Monster Hunter thing oh, was a wow. huge success. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Especially yeah, on the PlayStation yeah, yeah. 4. So, the amount of people playing this game, it's I, huge. I wonder what their booth is going to look like at, you know, for Monster Hunter stuff. I don't know if they're going to... They usually show off new games that are coming up, but... Like, for packs and stuff like oh, that. I didn't go last. Booth. We haven't been to PAX yeah. East in almost three years now. We're yeah. not going to go to this one either, so... Yeah, because their Monster Hunter booth always looks really cool. Yeah, it does. It's always my favorite. Except for Kirby. <laughs> they had a Monster Hunter booth at the New York Comic Con, too. Yeah. That yeah. was really cool looking. Yeah. Oops. Alright, so this monster's almost done, and that means it's going to be a mission accomplished, guys and gals. Another reason why I like using the spear, too, is it has almost an infinite combo after you use buffs. So, I mean, boom. Look, I was still going, even though the monster was toast. And that's it. He's done. Yahoo! We did it. And also, I believe we forgot to show people what some of the armor sets are that we're working on. So we're going to go back to town. And, yeah, we have little cat friends. Why is your cat made a friend? Yeah. Oh. It's the local tribe in this area. See? Oh, cool. It, you probably don't remember when I was just exploring, like, the expedition thing, because I, um, I don't always film oh, the yeah. expeditions if they're not relevant to the story. Yeah. I just like going out and collecting materials. Sometimes when I'm watching you play, I, I fall asleep next to the couch <laughs> next to you. I'm sorry. It might have been when you were asleep, but there was uh, <laughs> a bunch of cats riding on dinosaurs, and we wow. ended up being jumped by I them. I missed that. Oh, and then we fought them. There wasn't really a movie. It was just like or text. Maybe I was half awake. You were like, why are cats on dinosaurs? <laughs> and then you went back to sleep. Yeah, I need to find a way to make this armor like look better because it's mis mismatched. It's got red and purple. Yeah, I would name if I could name that monster. I'd call him instead of Tizzy. I'd call him Fizzy Grape Soda. I don't even know how to say his name properly, actually. So. Oh, yeah. No clue. Yeah, when I noticed when you were tagging him on the map, you tagged the corner instead of actually tagging him on the map. You actually just tagged the monster on the side. Uh, that was cool. Now I'm going to have to try doing that. Okay, so I can't read that. Nya, nya, nya. Warriors of the Research Commission, I salute your brave and generous hearts. Nya, nya, nya. Accept this gadget with my thanks. Oh, that's the cat telling you that. I guess. Nya, nya, nya. This instrument plays only for the strong of heart. Its melodies will aid you as you journey on your way. Nya, nya. Wow, that sound meow standing. <laughs> nya, nya, nya. Any who have fought by my side are friends. When you require my aid, I will lend it gladly, nya. See, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> I shall see you again, brave and generous warriors of the research commission. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. So they made friends. <laughs> Our cat made a cat friend, a play date. 
Yeah, totally. That's really <laughs> cute. I didn't know you could do that. Hawaii. Um, but anyway, we're going to head back to the workshop and uh, check out some armors that uh, we are currently working on. Cool. Which, uh, I showed Amber some of them, but you guys haven't seen some of this stuff yet. My, so My least favorite is that weird mustache. I know. And, of course, nothing was in the expedition. Well, I like the rest of the armor, except for the mustache. It looks like Bane mustache. It does not. He has a Bane mask with a mustache on it. Okay, back in the workshop. Now, hey. let's show you guys uh, some of the things we've been uh, working on. Okay, so the last Looks armor set, making. I have no idea what you're saying, Blacksmith, and I don't care. I'm trying to get to... There we go. Forge equipment. So here are some of the armors uh, from the Coral Reef and he, also from the previous episode. He was telling you he was having a rough day and he wanted you to sit there and listen to him. So that basically looks like a Zaku. Oh man. That is from that giant bone thing we fought. This is Amber's ah! least favorite. Never mind, that's my least favorite. The ship ah! captain. It doesn't look normal. It doesn't fit in. This is the one I'm working on, the uh, tizzy, and we can get, uh, it looks like some pants now, so... Purple pants. Purple pants. This should be your new Nightwing costume. Mm. Like, K-Wing costume. Mm, I'd have to get a better, like, top, because... And a better... So we face. need... I mean, what, what do I need? I need <laughs> something called Coral Crystal. Where do I get that? Tell me where I get Coral Crystal. Coral crystal. Let us know in the comments if you know where to get that. Yeah, let us know. So that's that costume. That's what it'll look like when it's completed. So it's not Whoa. bad. And then, of course... Uh, you like trolling me with that costume. Yeah. This is the one that Whoa. looks like Shredder. That's the bug oh armor. Oh my gosh. I know, right? That is the bug armor. That Some is kind of gonna... weird can opener. <laughs> Actually, if you wore... Uh, the the part because that was a mask and this is the weird I don't know high metal armor which she looks like a rhinoceros it's stupid he looks like somebody from fifty thousand leagues under the sea I know right or whatever that movie is called twenty thousand leagues under the sea and this is an armor Whoa. set I'm working on with your character that's the clue 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 whatever but I need to find something called wing drake and I don't know where the wind drakes hang that out doesn't so. really look like armor though no it, it really doesn't. That looks cool, but it, your shoulders are exposed. Totally. And let's see if our Palico friend can get anything cool. <gasps> Shadow. Shadow. Anjanov hammer is pretty He's much so the strongest cute. right now. Her cuteness is over 9,000. I know, right? I love her <laughs> little ears. They're so adorbs. Her and... cuteness is making me... I don't know. It's so cute. Okay, good. I couldn't, take any, I couldn't take any more I of the know. cuteness. But anyway, guys and gals, that does it for <laughs> this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Join us tomorrow as we are going to be hunting that weird lizard dragon thing that we saw uh, in the Rotten Vale. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and have an awesome rest of your day. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!